my morning briefing. I am up here in the mountains. I got up at 3 a.m., drove about three and a half to four hours north up into North Georgia. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different type of trip. It's gonna be at least, it's gonna be two nights. I am going to fast. I haven't eaten since yesterday evening for dinner. So I'll be drinking water, black coffee, tea, zero calorie stuff um, until I kill something. So it's buck only up here on this uh, national forest land currently. So I'm unfamiliar to this particular area that I'm gonna be hunting in. I've got my backpacking gear. I'm gonna hike in. I've got an eight mile loop planned out, several creeks. There's a river I'll be going down to as well. So I will keep you guys informed on what goes on. Um, there's big deer in the mountains. A lot of big deer have been coming out of North Georgia, but the deer density is extremely low. So uh, my hopes are not that high. Worst case scenario, I hike around, do some camping, scout the area, hopefully find some sign. I'm gonna set out a few cameras. Um, I'm planning to bear hunt here probably next September anyway, so. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of recon, a little bit of intel collecting, and I'll have my rifle with me, and hopefully I will shoot a mountain buck. If a bear presents itself, I'll take a bear as well. So I'm looking forward to just getting out here, having a little bit of an adventure, putting myself to the test. Um, I feel like you are, you're more bound to try a lot harder if there's something on the line, so. For me, it's gonna be no food at all. And so I'm gonna be hiking around the mountains with zero calories taken in, completely running off my fat stores in my body for fuel until I kill a game animal. And then the plan is to eat that animal. I'm gonna cut it up, butcher it up, and pack it back to the truck. So that is the goal. That's what we're shooting for. I might end up going hungry, but that's fine. I've done, just so you don't think I'm completely crazy, I've done extended fasts. Um, if you've never done an extended fast, you should probably talk to your doctor or just do your research before you try that. Make sure you're not on any medications or anything like that. But um, they can be difficult. I've done a five, I want to say five days is the longest I've done um, and it can get pretty brutal mentally but it also is some of the cleanest energy you'll ever experience when you're completely running off your body's fat reserves so I think we were designed that way to go to be able to go long periods of time without food and it's the way our ancestors did it hunter-gatherers um, so I think fasting is way more normal than we might think think of it as living in America where we have convenience stores everywhere so that's my spiel on fasting I'm not planning to eat until I kill something or until I get back to my truck after um, you know not killing anything so I'm here to enjoy myself I'm looking forward to this trip it's gonna be challenging it's gonna be fun it's gonna be new and I'm gonna take you guys along with me we will see you in the mountains up got everything set ready to go I'm headed up to the top of that ridge it's pretty steep so I'm gonna get up over there and cruise the top and then I'm gonna dip back down I got a big loop planned out so let's get started Well, the first big hill is kicking my butt. 
but I got that to look at as well as that so mountain hunting is exhausting but it's always worth it and people think you need to go west to get to big hills and it's like nope Appalachian Mountains dude they are severe, very steep, very rugged country. So you don't have to go out west, guys. This is a doable hunt, cheap and easy if you're on the east coast. Come hunt some national forest. You won't regret it. for you guys it's getting close to about 11 o'clock I spooked one doe on the way down in here she didn't blow or anything but she ran off but I'm down at this bottom and I found some signs looks like a decently fresh rub from this year so Keep following this down, find see if I can find like a rub line or something like that. If it looks good, I might set up for the afternoon, but I'm gonna keep moving. Made it to the first creek crossing. That'd be a good water source. I think I'm gonna cross, get to the other side, get up on that ridge over there and start looking for a good funnel area to set up in for a little bit. Maybe make some tea, maybe make some coffee. Gonna cross this creek, try and not get wet. here and there's a distinguished trail. 
basically just following this creek bottom. So I'm going to set this camera out and I'm going to let it sit for probably more than likely until next September. I might come back here and bear hunt. Um, I'm just going to let it soak, let it gather some intel, see what's kind of cruising through here. And I'll just use that as kind of like a little surveillance of what's coming through this bottom. And that way I can get a good idea of the quality of animals in the area. And hopefully find some good ones for the next hunt. camera's all set. I've got it set to video mode, so hopefully we'll get some good videos when I check it. saw that one deer I think it was a doe early in the morning after I first crested the very first hill ridge and I was dropping back down the other side and saw a white tail running away so that is all I've seen it's been a very quiet night there was no wind I didn't see any animals moving so here I am in the tent so it's only like five it's about 6 p.m but i got up at three so i'm about to hit the hay and see if i can't pop one tomorrow haven't eaten anything all day i'll probably brew some coffee in the morning and hunt my way around and i'll probably leave tomorrow evening because there's a big rainstorm coming in so it's Saturday night and all day Sunday is supposed to be a downpour so I got to get out of here and head back home and go to a funeral so I'm enjoying my time up here we'll see what happens tomorrow
to be hitting the grunt tube and the plate call. I'm going to try some rattling as well, so I'm just going to try and make deer noises because there's, I'm going to be making noise, so this is a Hail Mary, might as well make a ruckus. Looks like it ties into a trail that loops all the way back up that mountain and then I drop down on the other side of that mountain to get back to the truck so I've kind of been hunting my way out nothing moving this morning except some turkeys uh, when I first left camp so I'm gonna keep moving and keep my eyes out keep calling and that rain's supposed to be hitting late this afternoon, so I'll probably wrap things up when I get back to the truck. Alright, let's keep moving. I see the truck. Almost made it back. I got this extremely steep hill. I was dumb enough to climb straight from the truck, but it is vicious going down, so I'm going to take my time. Be careful, try not to break an ankle. And I have food at the truck, so I'm at about 36 hours without any food. And I'm hungry. I'm not, I'm not really struggling though. Um, I've done longer fasts, like I said before, so this is, I've never done one and then gone and done like backpacking or a bunch of strenuous activity, so that has a lot higher caloric demands than just sitting in your office and doing a, a long fast so definitely ready for some beef jerky i wish it was venison but maybe next time i learned a bunch covered a lot of ground saw a deer and got to camp out and god's creation so thanks for watching appalachia fast i'll see you on the next video